We're comparing venues for a friend's retirement party. And the data is in this big stack, which is not so easy to look at because maybe we want to sort this data by the square footage or sort it so that the ones that have a kitchen there on top and ones that don't are on the bottom. But we don't have information for every venue. Check out Marshall Mars Studio. We have information about the Wi-Fi, the kitchen and then the square footage. But then we go down to Atrium. We've got Wi-Fi and square footage. We don't know about their kitchen. It would be great if this data looked like a pivot table. But if you know about pivot tables, pivot tables will do sums and counts on your data. We would like this to be converted and our data left alone. And we can do that in Power Query. Let's do it. Cursor inside the data set. From table slash range. There's a data. Now, which new columns do we want? We want a Wi-Fi column, kitchen column, square footage column. Highlight this feature column, and then we're going to go to transform. Then pivot column. And what do we want as our values? We want those details as our values. Then advanced. Don't aggregate. Don't mess with my data. Give me counts, averages, nothing. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Now we can see Porter 17 has not told us about their kitchen. West Garden, we don't know if they have Wi-Fi or not, but we can go over to this column and sort the square footage. Go to home, largest to smallest. And that is the power of pivot. Don't aggregate.